Let's play a little game. It's called Guess That Adapt Pattern. What, what are we looking at here? I feel like my mom right now. What? Am I getting old? It's hard to see. <laughs> I know Gymshark didn't add another sibling to the Adapt family and not tell us. Not on Gymshark Women, not on Reddit. What's going on? You know nothing. Nevertheless, we were here to chat about the new Adapt pattern, Seamless, and some other fun new launches that are simply divine. So let's go ahead and get into it. Keep in mind, all these pieces are already live on the site. I'll also have them linked down below for your convenience. If you choose to use code AshleyG at checkout, it does save you 10% off all your Gymshark orders. Also help support this channel. So a big thank you if you do. Always be sure to let me know so I can personally thank you. Don't get it twisted, guys. Gymshark did a monster drop. This is just a little sprinkle of what they launched. There's a ton more in a lot of different colors. And you already know that Gymshark has a ton more cool stuff on the way. So if you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future launches. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. First things first, let's get to the bottom of this new Adapt Pattern Seamless. I'm not really sure what the pattern is. They don't really describe it at all. I guess we can just make it up as we go, right? To me, I felt like it looked like an earthquake. The more creative person might say looks like a cracked windshield, an old spider web perhaps. The brown one, for example, specifically reminds me of old tree bark. And I love nature, so hey, whatever. It's up to you. Keep your imagination alive with these. So according to Gymshark's website, this pattern does not belong to a sub category of the adapt family, such as the camo or the animal or the fleck. So I think it's its own thing here. They launched three new colors, green, brown, and black, which has a little gray in it. So I have the green and brown. First of all, this green color, it kind of glows. To me, to the naked eye, is such a beautiful, rich green. It's beautiful, like a jewel. The brown is super earthy. I feel like these two colors for the fall time, spot on. So fun fact, I actually sized up to a medium in both the leggings and the matching sports bras. Why, might you ask? Because a couple launches ago, I tried to fit myself into my true size small with the camo and it just didn't work. It was way too small. I felt like I had to size up in both the bottoms and the bra. Now, fast forward to the last camo launch, which was the last Gymshark video I did on this channel. If you guys watched that, you would know. When I sized up in those, it ran too big. So I grabbed a size medium and to my surprise, it was too big. So if you guys are considering this legging, do Gymshark returns a favor and just stick to your true size in these. So material wise, I'm feeling a lot of the Adapt Marl. You still have that stretch. It is your signature Adapt Collection legging. So it feels thick. It feels insulating. It is extremely squat proof. Okay. We all know that about the Adapt. So a lot has not changed. If you're used to the Adapt line and you love it, chances are you're going to love these too. But with this lack of change comes... Dun, dun, dun. Staring you in the face. We have a the butthole patch. With a new Gymshark Adapt legging, I would have loved nothing more than to see a brand new updated scrunch, but they kept that very patchy scrunch on the back here. Now, even though I loved this scrunch like three years ago, maybe four. <laughs> Times they have a changed, and now I prefer a much more natural, discreet scrunch. So even though I feel like this is very much like the fleck, a little more thin of a design, not so bulky like the camo or the animal prints. We know the fleck has a raised seam contour, no scrunch, which is why I love it. It's one of my favorites. They added it on here, so it's a little bit of both. <laughs> you have a little bit of animal, and you have a little bit of the fleck in here. Same thing in terms of length. So it comes at a very comfortable length for me. So my biggest takeaway when it comes to these leggings is just staying with your true size. If you're in between is the only time I would suggest sizing up. There's more of a difference in these bras than the leggings. What do we think of this design? So they took the butt scrunch and they smack dabbed it right in the middle of your bust. <laughs> and they elongated it. I actually really like how it scrunches in the middle and rises up from your torso. I actually think it's really flattering. It really draws your eye to your torso. The curve is subtle, but yet it still works in contouring your body. I personally think this scrunched ruche looks better on the bra than on the booty. Gymshark, you can add it on here. Just take it off the bum, please. The back is very straightforward. It does curve down, a little plunge right on the back. Something I noticed right away in terms of the fit, even though this bra was 
big. You can even see it lipping in certain areas. The cut of the arm was a little too snug. So it pinched in, gave me that unnecessary bulging. So it looked a little bit funny on me, where it was baggy in some places. You could see excessive material, but then in some places it looked like it was just pinching in a bit. So this bra is a little bit confusing because half of me is really grateful that I sized up because if it was a size small, I feel like that pinching right around the arms would have been really bad. But at the same time, everywhere else looked a little too big. But if you're in between, size up. That's where I would go. Let us take a moment to talk the new power, shall we? Now, I only have one set from the power. I know you guys had some questions about the leggings. I was supposed to get them. They didn't arrive, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna have to just share with you my thoughts on the shorts and the new sports bra. So all around, I am a fan of the Power Collection, but they went ahead and they made a new recipe here with this one. Are we surprised yet? No. Okay, first and foremost, we're starting with the shorts. I grabbed them in my true size small. You guys know I am not a fan of really tight, short shorts. I wish I sized up to a medium this time around. Normally I don't have to, but because they made some alterations, now I wish I did. Here's what they did. I say did twice? Yes, I did. Oh my God. They added a really tiny, thin, elastic strip band right at the top of the seam here. What that does, it's great for the gym, right? No dipping, no sliding. Great, wonderful. But to somebody like me who really is conscious about things grabbing my hips, I don't like that feeling. I have a short torso, so I feel like if you just bulge me in, I just look like I have an even shorter torso. Well, that's what that did. It felt like it was just digging in a little bit too much. They added seam contour paneling going down the front of the legs. Now, I'm not against this. I think that's pretty cool, all right? You're adding some movement, you're mixing things up. They went ahead and created a high to low. You can even see as I'm holding it up. Do you see how high the front of the shorts are compared to the back? I'm gonna go ahead and say it's about a three inch inseam in the front, and maybe, maybe if you're lucky, a four inch in the back. Now you know, three inches is just too small for me. That's what she said. That's just my preference. So I was a little bit bummed to see that. I was like, okay. But if you're really into bodybuilding, I think it could look really flattering. They kept that scrunch bump. That's the biggest concern of mine. They kept that. Thank you very much. Guys, over here's a clip of me doing this exercise that I literally have never done a day in my life. But I figured test it out, test for roll up. Just in case you're a sadomasochist and you like to inflict pain on yourself and you actually do these exercises. <laughs> Now you know how these shorts will hold up. But needless to say, the shorts, they made their way up, but they did not actually roll up. So I'll give them that. This bra, in my opinion, was almost perfect. Do you remember in like previous launches for the power bra, they had straps that went this way? <laughs> It's as if they detached it and then added them down here. After trying to figure out for the first five minutes how to actually put this on with these straps, I wasn't sure if it like went around your neck or what the deal was, I had to go on the website and look. And then I was like, oh, okay, all right. It's simple as can be. You just literally just lays around your rib cage. Cool. What threw me off is the fact that the straps here were pretty loose. So I assumed that it needed to do something else than just lay here. But then I thought to myself, I was like, okay, that was actually a very smart move on Gymshark's part because they want to add a little something something here, but they don't want it to cinch in and pinch you out in unnecessary places. So other than these straps, this is pretty much the same exact power sports bra that we're used to. Still have the ruching right down the middle. I have a question though. Are you struggling right now to make out what this sports bra actually says? It's like a fever dream. It's like a Dali painting. You start hallucinating. It's definitely trippy and I'm pretty sure somewhere in here it says Gymshark and the word power. Pretty sure the year 2000 is somewhere on here too. This bra is very true to size. I'm happy with my size small. If I'm in between, I'd probably size up rather than down, especially with this strap, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna pinch it on in, do you? This bra does not come with bra pads. And you don't have the option to insert either. <laughs> But do you need them? For me, no. I honestly didn't realize it till I just felt myself up <laughs> that there were no pads. I thought there were pads in here like the whole time. One thing I love about the Power Sports Bra that they kept consistent is the back. I love the back. It's like really thick back thong, but it's all mesh, very breathable. It really does work with this type of material because it's the Power Collection. It's meant to be lifted in. You're meant to carry that weight, girl, and you need something that's gonna breathe with you. Overall, I really like this design. I think it's gonna be hit or miss for a lot of people. I think it really worked. Had a little personality, especially in this red.
red. I feel like this zesty red color, it really deserves this pattern. So if you wanna have some personality, grab it. If not, stick with the solid pieces. At least they added some variety, which they tend to do with the power collection. They always did that. They'll add in some abstract, crazy print and then have some solids to go along with it. I actually saw online the dark teal color that came out. I really think that is so fitting for the season. I kind of wish I got that one. And speaking of power, we have the power joggers and the crop zip up in the color carmine red. This is your quintessential Santa Claus red. Is that how I'm gonna go with it? It is so cheery, is it not? This works flawlessly with this bra, okay? Because you do have the carmine red within this zesty red, so it definitely pairs well. I'm slowly phasing out of my like cropped and midi fits. That was 2019 Ash. I'm now in my full length oversized, the baggier the better kind of look, which we'll get into in just a second. What I like about the power jogger sets is that they are really designed for wearing over your gym sets. So if you like wearing shorts to the gym, but it's cool out, you wanna warm up, grab these sweats and you could throw it right over top. I like it because they have a nice lining to them that isn't seriously gonna stick to your skin like traditional plush joggers. It's not a super rough texture. It's not like terry cotton, but it's along the lines of that, just a tad softer. So it doesn't scratch against your skin. You can squat, you can warm up on the treadmill and it's super comfy. I also really like the fact that it's pretty lightweight. It's not super heavy like the rest day sweats. So you're able to move around and not feel the pressure of it just pulling on you. You do have a drawstring and two open pockets. You got ribbed cuffs right on the bottom. Overall, a really nice, relaxed fit. I think if you're in between and you prefer more of a form fit, you could size down, especially if you just wanna wear them athleisurely. But yeah, really nice high quality gym jogger set. I have no complaints here. Now I'm personally saving the best for last. This is what I deem the best out of this entire haul. These are the Lifting Essentials graphic jogger and sweatshirt. Yeah. I have been seeing this sweat set pretty much go viral. I've been seeing it everywhere. Out of everything I share with you, like this sweat set's making its rounds and I definitely understand why. This set is, uh, how do you say? Perfect in schlag. This set's perfect. Now I grabbed it in the light gray core marl, but they also have these in black. And I know that the sweater comes in white as well. You have the ultra soft brush back fleece completely lined in this set. It is so stinking soft. But what I really respect about this set is the fact that it's not heavy. Rest day sweats, they have some density to it. This is seriously so lightweight. I mean, you can move around in them and just be comfy and not feel pressed down. It's oversized in all the right places, but then it does taper around the leg nicely. Now these are an oversized fit. So if you wanted to, you could size down. I love my true size small. You know, I said before, the baggier the better. I'm just like in that era right now. Give me the oversized comfy fits, please. And what I really love is that these joggers, they are not cinching my waist. They don't even grab it, not even a little bit. They just they just kind of like hover. They don't go anywhere when you squat. It's not like your whole booty's, you know, cracked's gonna be hanging out. They're secure, but like they leave you alone too. You know what I'm saying? There's not even a freaking draw cord in here to tighten because that is how confident Gymshark was in these joggers. I feel like you totally could warm up in these at the gym. Me personally, I don't really like warming up in plush lines things. I'm more of like the power jogger, so I'm not, you know, sticking to the jogger when I sweat. But I feel like this is absolutely perfect for just lounge days. You want to grab a coffee and just look fly as hell, give some street style, some casual looks. College students will love these. Those late night library study sessions with some coffee girl. Been there, done that. Wish I had these. Now, this is a print but it's not one of those like peely prints. They did a good job. It almost looks like it's just stained into the sweater. I wanted to make note on that because if you're really considering this, but your main concern is like, well, how cheap is that print? It's not, it's good quality. You do have two pockets, no zipper. And in case you're wondering what this is made out of, again, brush back fleece lining. The rest of it, it is made of a cotton and a polyester. So it's not ultra stiff. There's a little, little bit of give, but not much. So I think the oversized fit works for this material. This set's giving rest day a run for their money. This set is a 10 out of 10 for me. What are our thoughts on the new Gymshark releases? If you guys have any other questions that I did not touch base on in this video, comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you, and I will catch you in my next video.
I like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited.